Number one, add tasks all over the list with the draggable plus button. In the mobile app, you can create a new task by pressing the quick add button. This is a plus shape button that's usually in the bottom corner of a list. You can, however, also drag and drop it into a list and your task will be created exactly where you want it to. For example, if you drop it into a subtask, it will enable you to create another one. Quickly arrange today's tasks with plan your day. Now for the second one, we're gonna go back to the mobile app again, which has another trick up its sleeve. You probably already know about the today list. It's a smart list that collects every item with a due date for today. By pressing the double circle shape button on top of that list, you'll be able to arrange every due task into a queue while also being able to postpone or delete irrelevant items. A sort of mini Sansama inside of TickTick. Tick. If you like time blocking, make sure to check out my full Sansama review as well. Number three, mark a task's progress with status bar. Every task can be assigned a completion percentage. It's something I actually discovered by accident recently, as there is no obvious option for it anywhere in TickTick. Tick. Instead, clicking on this super thin line underneath the task title reveals a progress bar set to your desired completion percentage in 10% increments. This can be a powerful way to visually mark your progress. Number four, quickly navigate between related tasks with task links. One of my favorite features I've discovered since moving over from Todoist to TickTick -Tick is its ability to easily link between different tasks and notes. All you have to do is right click an item and select copy link. Pasting it into another item's title or description will automatically turn it into a clickable link with that item's title, so you can easily move back and forth between related items. Number five, set time to a task based on flexible time zone options. Do you travel a lot or do you work with folks around the world? Then you might benefit from assigning tasks a time within a specific time zone. First, toggle on time zone under settings, features, then date and time. And then when assigning a time to a task, you'll see a drop-down menu enabling you to select a time zone. Number six, see how much time is left for a task with countdown mode. By default, tasks with a due time are shown in a task list with that exact time specified on the right-hand side. You can, however, also view these due times in the form of a countdown. This means if it's one o'clock now and your task is due at three, you'll see in two hours instead of three o'clock. To activate it, go to a list, press the button with the three horizontal dots and select show countdown. It'll immediately shift your view and you can just as easily switch back to the same menu. Number seven, decide how your tasks are color coded on the calendar. TickTick -Tick comes with an amazing calendar view with extensive filters so you can only see what you need to see on there. For even stronger organization, you can also decide the color coding based on list membership. First, right click on a list and press edit. From there, you'll be able to set a color for the list. And now any item placed in that list with a due date will show on the calendar with that color. Number eight, get better at predicting a task duration with stopwatch logs. I used to be rigorous with assigning estimated time to tasks. For every single task, I thought about the time I would probably take completing it. And I was wrong most of the time. Turns out there's this thing called Hofstadter's Law, which states that everything takes longer than you think it does, even if you're aware of the law. So what does that mean? Give up on time estimating altogether? That's actually what I've done for now. However, if you're brave enough to give it a go, TickTick -Tick has a feature which enables you to estimate time, then track it and compare the two. That way you'll learn through data just how off your predictions are and get better at them. Under the task details, select start focus and fill out estimation. From there, you can fill out a number of Pomodoro sessions or time you think it'll take. Then whenever you're working on the task, you can press start Pomo timer or stopwatch. And once you're done, it'll show both values. Unfortunately though, this does not work if your recorded time is under five minutes, as that is not safe to the logs for some reason. Number nine, quickly change the duration of your Pomo timer. Speaking of the Pomodoro timer, the default time is set to 25 minutes per sprint. However, you can change this number to suit your energy and time available. Under settings, go to features, focus timer, 
daily focus goals. And from there, you'll be able to set up a custom sprint, short break and long break duration, as well as how many sprints you want before a long break. And I love this feature as it doesn't force you to comply with the Pomodoro method by the book. Everyone is different and I always say you should find what works for you, not just copy what others do one to one. And if you're like, oh, Pomo, Pomodoro, what is he talking about? Check out my video on the Pomodoro method to learn more. Number 10, create app context based desktop widgets next to app shortcuts. Now that's a mouthful. Here's what I'm talking about. Desktop widgets are just as customizable as filters inside of the TickTick app. If you work remotely, chances are you'll mostly be working on your computer inside various apps. And if that is the case, you could set up a tag or filter based on which app is required to perform a task and assign them accordingly. Then create desktop widgets displaying those lists. Lastly, if you position your app shortcut next to the widgets, you'll have a super intuitive way of knowing which apps you need for the day and what you need to do with them. Leave a like if you want to see more TickTick -tick Power User tips and pre-register for my TickTick -tick Power User course to receive an update when it's out with a unique early bird discount. Links in the description. Thanks for watching.